Hey everyone, well today I am going to make a delicious Vietnamese roll. Now, these sound hard to make, but I tell you what, they are so super easy to throw together and they're super healthy, super tasty, got all the food groups. You guys are going to love them. Let's start making them. This is Greg's Kitchen. So this is what I'm using to make these Vietnamese rolls. You just need some lettuce. This is some iceberg. I've got some spring onion shallots. I got myself a little chili. I've got some coriander, which is also known as cilantro. You'll need some carrot. And if you're into peanuts, just grab a handful of crushed ones. I've got some prawns, or as they're called in America, shrimp. You'll need some rice noodles, and you'll also need some rice paper. Now there is a dipping sauce involved as well, which I'll be adding some minced garlic, some ginger, fish sauce, soy sauce as well. Oh, and that's what the chili goes into as well. So anyway, let's start making this stuff. So the first thing we need to do is prepare our noodles. What we need to do with these is just cook them, and basically these noodles will just cook in hot water. So. Get your noodles, I boil the jug here, we'll add the hot water to the noodles. We just let those soak for a couple of minutes, which is all it'll take for them to soften up and you'll be able to use them once they're nice and soft. So while those noodles are softening, let's go and cut up the vegetables. Now with the bits of lettuce, you want them into small sort of boat shaped pieces. <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, just so, sort of like the shape of your hand. So I'll just break them up pretty much. Next, I'm gonna grate a carrot. Now, you can julienne it. <laughs> but I'm not doing that, why would you? When you can just grab yourself a grater and just grate bits off. Same horse, different jockey, boof. So now, your shallot spring onion scallion. Really cut it into like, really fine little slices. That's that, woof, done. Now, with the prawns, or as we call them in America, shrimp! This one's a pre-cooked. If you want to cook your own, great. If not, just buy some <laughs> already cooked ones like I am, and just slice them in half. Really easy. So next I've got myself a delicious bird's eye chili here, which I want to really just finely cut into little ringlets. This is part of the sauce. So I'll throw those straight into the bowl. Ginger, I'll just grab a little tiny bit. Not too much, you don't want too much because that stuff is pretty overpowering. Garlic, a little bit more than the ginger. Maybe about that much? Yeah, that'll do. Great. Uh, fish sauce, add as much or as little as you want. I'm gonna go hard because I love fish sauce. That's probably about a teaspoon and a bit's worth. And then the rest, oh, just a little bit of soy sauce. We need to add the water as well, just to dilute it. So just a bit of water like that. And the sauce also needs just a squirt of lemon or lime juice in there as well. And there you go, there's your nice delicious sauce for dipping this beautiful Vietnamese roll in. How easy was that? Okay, so that sauce and cutting up is all done. Let's go and have a look and test these noodles, see if they're cooked yet. I hope they are because they've been in there a while. Beautiful, right. How about we drain this off? Because what we need to do is let them cool down a bit before we can even use them. Now, if your noodles are too hot like mine are, what you can do is just pull some out and Put on a plate, spread it out, and they will cool down a lot faster that way. So I'll just pull some out that I'm gonna be using for these few rolls that I'm making, and just start letting those cool down a bit. Oh, and while that's happening, there's something else we need to do. We need to get this rice paper ready for use. And so it comes in different sizes. Now, it'll depend on how big your rice paper is. But you've got to try and soak these for about five seconds in a bowl to make them soft. Now, what I like to use is my uh, frying pan here, because that's the perfect size. So, we just need cold water in this. So, we just don't need a lot, you know, just about 
a couple of centimetres worth in your pan and that's all, that's all we need. Okay, so now that these are cooled down a bit, it's time to make this Vietnamese roll. This is so easy, watch this. So, first of all, grab yourself out one of these pieces of rice paper from your packet. Grab our water here, and now we just need to soak this for about five seconds in the water. You just need to, like, get it moist. Not too moist. Or the, else the Vietnamese, oh, you know what they're like when they're angry. Oh boy, you don't want to make them angry. But that's all you need, five seconds. Now I have to do it on this board because if you try and do it on a wooden board or any other board, the uh, the water, the wood will like take the water out of this uh, piece of paper. So hopefully you can make that out in this video. But we start off by putting some lettuce on the bottom towards one end. Now we'll put the soft side of the lettuce on the outside of the paper there because when you fold it in sometimes it'll crack. So now we'll grab our bits of noodle and we put this on the lettuce making sure that it doesn't like go over the edge of the lettuce because for aesthetic aesthetics you don't want it all messy, you want it really clean. So now on top of those noodles, we'll throw our bits of carrot, as much as you want. We'll grab our scallion shallot spring onions. We'll put some of those on. Got some of our peanuts here. We'll sprinkle those on. You don't have to add the nuts if you don't want to. But there's nothing better than nuts in my mouth, mate. I love nuts. Oh, yeah. Right, and that's that. So now, our prawns. Get some three of these bad boys. Get some nice ones here. And these go on the outside of the lettuce. One, two, three. Then over the top of that, we put our coriander cilantro in between the gaps. You want the prawns at the front because they make it look really groovy. So now, it's time to fold this over. This is the tricky part. So you want to grab this rice, and what we need to do is fold this over the top of the prawns. So fold that over the top of the prawns, stick that down. Now we get the edges, Fold those in, nice and firm, both sides, fold that in, and now we flip this over, and there you have a pretty little Vietnamese roll. Some of the nuts have fallen through. <laughs> But I'm, not, I'm quite used to my nuts falling out all over the place. <laughs> There's your Vietnamese roll. Let's make a few more and we'll tuck on in for the taste test. Okay, so for this, let's grab a roll and just dip it into this nice sauce here. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Whoa! Oh! Chili! But I tell you what, that is so light and fresh and just just delicious. You guys are gonna love it. Mmm. Don't be afraid to double dip either. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's some good taco. Mmm. That sauce is hot. Mmm. Damn, that's hot sauce. Oh. That chili's hot. Oh. Such a simple meal. Great for summertime or just for snack time or something like, you guys are going to love it. Remember to show this video some thumb and love. 
Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>